I'm hot now, I'm hot now, keep the 40 on me, I'm ready Lies out, want no cloud, I cut a bitch machete Hey, I'm currently at Walmart right now, just grabbing a few items for the dinner that I'm about to make, honey This baby about to be more. I'm about to make some egg rolls, some crab breakfast, and some general soap my way Okay, so first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give y'all this little ingredients to get started with the crab rangoon. Follow me. Okay, so what you're gonna need, <laughs> you're gonna need all these little good looking ingredients because if you ain't got that, you ain't gonna have this, all right? We got this little crab meat, you know, I'm too po, I'm too po, so we're gonna have to do the imitation, <laughs> you know. Got to get in the big leaves in order for me to get the real stuff. You're going to need a pack of this. You're going to need probably like a half cup of sour cream. You're going to need your green onion. Not all of it, but just a little bit. And I'll show you later on. You're going to need two of these cream cheeses. And since I'm trying to preserve my sexy, I have the stevia. You're going to need about four packs of these. Or however you want to taste it. You know, taste it if it's too sweet, you know, then just minimize a pack. If you want more, add a pack. Chop up your crab meat real nice. And then you're gonna wanna stir it well together. All right, can I taste some? Not yet, it ain't got the sugar in it. That makes game weak, boy. But it's good on God. Look good. It do. I promise it do. Apply your crab meat mixture in the center. You're gonna to wanna to moisten the whole border of the outlining of your wonton wrap. Fold it nicely, and then moisten the outer part of it as well, and then in the center and fold it over together. As you go along, make sure that there's no air pockets in between the folds of the wonton wrappers. And then you fold it over like an envelope. Now I'm just repeating the steps for you, as you can see below.
Now, I know y'all see them egg rolls. Look, I had to make some. A bitch was hungry. <laughs> gathering the products that I will need for the general soul meal one green pepper one red pepper one small onion sauteed in oil one tablespoon Now, however you pronounce this little meat right here, you're gonna grab that at Walmart. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not even gonna try, but you're gonna need that. Put you about two packs of this in here and sprinkle it. was invading my nostrils, honey. Baby. Mm, mm, mm. Now, while my son is cooking the meat, I'm over there cutting the kibasi, getting it ready for the egg rolls. general soy sauce on the meat do not drain it or anything and if you want to know where to purchase that you can get that from walmart as well Boy. now of course my greedy ass added some more Dice it and put it on the cookie tray. Cook it until it's brown. Hey, sister. No, we ain't gonna put her in the video. You're right. You know I had to put her in the video. Them smells woke her up out of her sleep, honey. <laughs> now, while the kibasi is getting ready, I'm getting the chicken ready for the egg roll batter as well. I'm dicing it up. And then I'm going to cook it after I season it. You're gonna need your coleslaw and put that into your pan. Add the chicken broth with it. And once you get it all down.
You can add in your onion powder along with your black pepper. Add your garlic powder into the coleslaw mix for your egg rolls. Now I season the chicken with seasoning salt. Now I'm seasoning the chicken with the Famous Dave's chicken seasoning. You would need only one packet of Goya. And then after you use that, you will put half of it in the chicken, half of it in the egg roast um, batter. When the chicken and the coleslaw mix is done, you're going to mix them both inside the bowl together. Add in your cooked kielbasa as well. Blend all of the ingredients together like so. For the egg roll part, I'm doing the same thing as, I, as if I was doing for the crab rangoon. You're going to moisten all the border. Once you're done moistening the whole border, you're going to have it in a diamond shape form. You're going to want to put the egg roll batter into the center, but in a rectangular shape. Don't put too much because you don't want it to spill over when you're dipping it inside the grease. And then you're gonna fold the flap up. After you do that, you moisten it with the water and you're gonna do the outside of the border. It's going to stick just the same shape as if the envelope is on there. Once you're done putting both sides together, you just grab the bottom and then you're gonna roll it upward, like away from you just like so. Make sure you squeeze all the open spaces to where the grease won't go inside of there. If you missed any spots, just go behind it with the water and seal it together and then lay it on a cookie sheet. And they'll be ready for you to drop into the oil. And all I'm doing right now is repeating the, set, the steps. Now, I know you guys are wondering what happened to the general soul meat. All I did, I told you I was hungry. I just added the general soul meat onto the rice when the, when the minute rice was done. And I ate it. I'll show you what it looked like after it's done.
Wait till your grease gets hot. Dip your egg rolls into the grease. When it floats to the top, that pretty much means that it's done. And then take it out, let it cool for a little bit. And you're ready to dive in. Oh, oh. <laughs> See, look, right over there to your left. That's what that generous soul meat over that rice looked like. I told you y'all was gonna show y'all. <laughs>